beautiful. It's nice, it's smooth, it's creamy. Look at this. What's up guys? Welcome back for another quick and easy recipe. I'm going to show you guys how to make some garlic and herb cheesy mashed potatoes. I got these red potatoes here. I really prefer these red potatoes and I'm telling you it's a lot creamier than the Idaho potatoes. So when I'm making mashed potatoes, these are the ones that I prefer to use. I've got about two pounds of these red potatoes which equals nine of these medium-sized potatoes. I got the shredded mozzarella. Of course, shredding your own mozzarella is really um, the preferred method, but for those quick weeknight meals, you wanna go for the ones that are already shredded. And when you have a little bit more time, you can shred your own mozzarella. I've got fresh garlic. A lot of people will not tell you the key to making a great garlic mashed potatoes is to drop some fresh garlic in the water. I've got salt right here, just a half a teaspoon. I mean, I'm sorry, a half a tablespoon. And I got heavy cream. And look, I got the Kerrygold garlic and herb butter. If you don't know, Kerrygold is bae. It's literally top tier butter. It's very expensive compared to the other butters, but trust me, it's an investment worth making. So what I'm going to do right now is wash and peel these potatoes and we're going to boil them. So we're over here on the stove. I peeled and cut up the potato. We're gonna add our salt right into the water and we're going to add five garlic cloves to this water. All right, so now we're going to boil this until the potatoes are soft. As you can see, I'm cooking the peppered lamb. The video for this should be up on my channel already. So our potatoes are ready. I am going to strain the water off and we're going to start mashing this and adding our ingredients. So I, ma I mashed the majority of the potatoes and I am going to take this entire stick and put it in the potatoes and continue to stir. So this is what the butter looks like when you take it out. And I do want to let you know that I took this butter out of the fridge when I first started making the mashed potatoes because I really wanted it to be softened. I am going to use a fork instead of a potato masher because I really want to get this butter you know, really grind it down to the very small bit so it mixes evenly. Do you see all of the herbs in this butter? It's so delicious. And look at the beautiful appearance that it gives to the mashed potato. I did leave the garlic inside of the potatoes. So I am actually mashing up the fresh garlic that we boiled the potatoes with. I'm going to add a quarter cup of heavy cream in. And now I am just sprinkling the mozzarella right on in there. And you see how nice and whipped these mashed potatoes look? These results you get when you use the red potatoes. Alrighty, so we are finished. Take a look at this. Beautiful. It's nice, it's smooth, it's creamy. Look at this, beautiful. Make sure you subscribe.